Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to find out what process or program application has a hold on a particular file that you may want to do something with. So let's say you have a file here and you want to maybe delete it or rename it and you can't do it and you might get an error like this. So let's say we want to put a 1 on the end of this. It says this action can't be completed because the file is open in Hyper-V Virtual Machine Management. Uh, sometimes it might not even tell you what, what's opening the file. Um, but if it does and you have that program open, you know, you could usually just close the program and then do what you need to do. But as you can see here, I don't have anything open, so um, there's some process that's holding this open. So I need to find out what that is in order to rename it or delete it. I'm going to rename it in my case. Um, so many times people download the Sys Internals Process Explorer and to do this type of thing. But if you don't want to do that and you want to use something built into Windows, uh, you could do that with the uh, resource monitor instead. So to do that, you could just, if you don't know where it is, just do a search for a resource monitor. And then once you have that open, go to the CPU tab and then look for associated handles. And then you want to put the name of the file in here. So rather than type this whole thing, I'm going to copy the name with the extension. Paste it in here. And you can see here, here's the uh, process vmms.exe that's holding it open here. And here's the uh, file that I put in there, the whole path. It has the PID if you want to look that up too. So all you need to do is right click on this process here, click end process. And you just got to give it a second. And then you might even want to refresh if it's still sitting there. And I can see it's gone. So if I go back here, I could stick my one on the end for my rename, which I wanted to do. And it works. But now the only catch is that process for uh, Hyper-V is now shut down. So you need to either figure out how to restart that process if you want to use that program again. And if not, you could probably just reboot your computer and uh, it'll start back up again. And That'll also work if you want to if you, if you want to free up a file. A lot of times you could reboot the computer and free up the file too. But in this case, since that process runs when the computer started, uh, rebooting the computer wouldn't allow me to make this change. So I'd actually have to kill that process since it's always running in the background. So anyway, so once again, just find the name of your file. Go to Resource Manager, CPU tab, Associated Handles, put in the name, wait for it to find it, and then you can right-click on the uh, process and end it. And then you should be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.